hello and welcome back. As usual, my name is Colt Warpgates, and today we'll be finishing the cast of Group 33 from the week one of preseason. All of these players, they did a great job uploading their replays. And these games have been pretty sick so far in this group, so I definitely want to finish this up. Uh, and pretty much the last cast before we get into regular season games, which are going on as we speak. Uh, so let's get into it. We're going to go into game... I, I forget what number it is, but game one of today. It's going to be between Red Axis and Mixed Smush. If I can hit the button. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. <laughs> in the top right, in the bluish gray Terran, it's Stimpak, aka Red Axis. And at the top left, in this weird fleshy color, it's the Protoss player, Mixed Mush. I believe is race picking PVT, I think. I believe Mixed Mush is naturally a Terran player. And like every single game in week one, we're on Polypoid. I I can't wait for the regular season, A, because we'll get best of three, uh, which I think is pretty cool. And two, we A and two, we we uh, will get new maps, right? Like we're still gonna have Polypoid and Eclipse in the pool, but we're gonna have Goodnight, Butter, and Selfid. I think they're all gonna lead to some good games, so. Decided to not just be looking at Polypoid all day long. Now we have a pylon scout from Mixmush, and it looks like they're gonna get the first scout off. Uh, if I remember correctly, on Monday we saw Mixmush go for like the the most abusive Protoss stuff possible, uh, which I think is basically Mixmush acting out everything that Protoss players have done to them in. TVP. Now, the fact that you get this first scout off is pretty big because it means that you could steal the gas, but Red Axis is ready to block that. And, like, I like this so much. There you go. You, you know, uh, you didn't have to start it right away. You just kept the SCP there, and then if the probe moved, you know, moved in that direction, then you start the gas. I'm still not free for Terran here. It, it is going to mess up the build just a bit. Uh, if it was something like two gateways in the middle of the map, it would be really unfortunate. You would need every single mineral you can get. Uh, I'm interested to see gas this early. I feel like nowadays if you... Oh wow, I was in that probe. is huge, by the way. Um, if you lose... Or if you... Steal a gas? Oh, you didn't steal a gas. Okay, hold on. Never mind. Stop. I'm, I'm going to pay attention to the game. So, yeah, if you did not steal the gas, you probably do want to get your own gas so that you can get goons before vultures run in your ramp. Fair enough, fair enough. But look, McSmush is even sending a second probe here to help the, the zealot fight. It, it, it does make a huge difference. We see this a lot with lings. Like, a zealot takes three kills, or it takes three hits to kill a ling. But a Zelt and a Probe takes two hits, and you have similar math working out uh, for a Probe and a Zealot in this matchup. So definitely very handy to bring that Probe in there. Did get a bit ahead of, of the Zealot. And we have some decent SimCity here from Red Axis. I'm not sure if the Marine can go like here or here. Oh, it can't, so actually not the greatest, and somehow these SCVs are, are glitching out here, and the Zealot does get a kill. Now, these two Marines... See, it's nice that like, they can shoot from behind the minerals, but if the Zealot went up here, it could just run away, I think. Uh, in the meantime, it's just going to kill two SCVs anyway. Now, it's totally bugging out here, but this one Marine here on the left does get picked off by the reinforcing Zealot. Now, this is going to be a major pain Red X's, and we do have a little bit of drilling going on. This is what you have to do when you have Zealots in your mineral line. But it's not quite there, and I think this is like, yeah, it's like five the workers down for the Terran, and a third Zealot is here, and these guys are not retreating here. So the 
Vulture does come out, but the SCVs are, are like kind of blocking it as they try to repair it. Oh my god, these cells have got so much value. Like, three Marines, I think like five or six workers. It's pretty ridiculous. One of them. Now, this cell would be amazed if it got any damage done at all. These two Vultures are actually going to scoot right by the... No? Okay. Alright, so Redaxis is going to clean that up. Meanwhile, oh my... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the base of Mixed Smush, we're going, we're going up to to do gateways. We're getting DTs and we're getting a forge. Uh, so, looking like some cheesy PvP build here. Or like, I guess, a DT expand, which is not so cheesy, but pretty funny. Like, I, the, the forge is overkill for sure. Like, at least I hope you're, if you're going to build cannons, put them down at the natural to help you expand. Don't put them in your main. That would be not good. Oh, well. We are doing this. I guess we're just worried. Like, maybe if that last cell had been a goon instead, and we had two goons now, it'd be okay. But one goon against like, three vultures is a bit dicey. Like, if there's good mines or something, uh, they could get in. But we actually don't have mines yet. But, like, building this cannon, like, it's not going to help you, like, later in the game, right? At least if you would put it in your natural. At least it would help you defend your natural. Like, this DT would have to get a lot of damage done to justify a one base Protoss. And I. Well, if Red Axis didn't see the DT already, it, they definitely noticed that swipe that killed that vulture. Now, what are they going to do about it at home? We do have mines being researched, but no eBay? No eBay. Are we just going to pray with the mines here? Like, Terran. I've said it before, Terran players are so greedy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so Red Axis does get that eBay up, but like those... those a few seconds could add up here, but mines is almost done. Trying to block the ramp here. I just hope that we don't hit to like some like sick mine drag, like where oh god, yeah, like the mines at the top of the ramp and everything clumped on the ramp. I think you could kill everything here. Okay, suddenly there's a ton of mines. Two vultures and a marine go down for that DT, but Terran gets to live another day. Do we have any more follow-up DTs? We have one in production now. This Nexus is up. I think DTs are going to be shut down for now. But the Terran, you know, with all the damage from the early game, actually, we have two factory Vulture here. This is, I'm not sure I've ever seen this in, in PBT. It's seven minutes, just two factories, and not a single tank is in this game. But with these can, well, with this cannon and with this cannon and with uh, this pylon wall. I think Protoss is going to be okay. Oh my god, we have, we're have we following up with the quad DT drop. Uh, this is like me when I missed the school bus. <laughs> I was a kid. It just kept going and you just got left behind. So this one DT will be left behind to help defend. But we have three DTs going into the main. And there's only one turret. Now th the three DTs will like two-shot that turret. Uh... I'm not sure if do we have any mines left on these vultures. They're certainly a long time away. I think all the mines have been laid, so I don't know what Terran can do about these DTs in the main here. Oh my god, the one turret goes down. Everything is evacuating the main base. Oh, I think we saw a bunch of SCBs die to that mine drag. Oh my god. Absolute massacre in the main. The natural is just finished, is now flying out there. All these vultures are here, but I'm not sure if they have any mines left. Okay, we have one vulture with mine. Okay, we got like eight mines in here, so that's probably enough. The turret is done in the natural, so these DTs are cleaned up. We have one left in the main, though. It's going to be hard to clean that out e efficiently, as I, as I say, as a mine. Just hits immediately. Oh god, the mine drag. The mine drag. The mine drag. Alright, Terran does a good job of splitting up the vultures. So, once again, Terran is technically helpless. Uh, but if you look at the worker count, yeah, the, I, so many SCVs died. Terran is in a bad shape. The shuttle is still alive. We got four goons here. We have a cannon. I think Explosion is going to take like a, a sneaky third base. I think we're just getting more DTs for a follow up drop. 
Dude, I have to start mixing in more DT drops, but I feel like whenever I try to go for something cheeky like Terran, just gets like seven turrets. The eBay is going to count the drop, and I think these vultures are panicking, driving as fast as they can back in here, but we have... Oh, we have a turret on the outside! You know, the DTs could get back into the main mineral line. We have some mines set up again, but... This is not... Wow, this guy picked the best and worst place to drop here. This one goes right to the main. The scanners are coming online here. So, this is... She will be cleaned up. Oh, and this guy's in range of the turret. Oh, man, if he'd been, like, out of, out of vision and then walked in later, that'd be so sick. Somehow, all these SCVs glitched behind the minerals. But it's still only 12 SCVs to 39 probes. The third base is going up for Prodos. Absolutely disgusting. Like, we could see Arbiter Tech at, like, any point in time, but I think Miss Mush just wants to get some ground units out. Like, now, they have definitely done enough damage to justify their expense, but basically, like, we saw, like, five Zealots die. I think we're at, like, eight DTs now. So all of the things that Protoss has built so far in this game are dead. Right, so I guess you don't want to tech too hard. You want to get some amount of goons up so you don't just die. Uh, so the hybrid tech is going to be a, a bit delayed, but honestly, like, who cares? You have three times as many workers, like, you have three bases. Terran's on two factories, like. This looks like a little chair on the minimap. It's very precisely placed pylon and cannon wall. Somehow still vultures get in here? While, while I wasn't looking, we have like 10 goons and a cannon and somehow still a vulture gets behind the mineral line? What? Oh god, no. See, this is the thing that happens to me too. Like, the observer is just slightly slower than goons, so if you're not careful, your goons get ahead of, of the observer and you don't have vision of mines. And then if you get observer speed, like, the observer is slightly faster than the goons, so yeah, you, you, you still have the same problem. And see how I can find a way to complain on behalf of Protoss in a game where they absolutely did scumbag stuff all game. <laughs> it's a skill. Alright, so Mixmush trying to put on some pressure up on the high ground, see what they can pick up. Just clearing out some of these mines, I definitely do not think we should commit to fighting these tanks here delaying the third, if there is going to be one anytime soon. Could be good. I mean, but like, does Terran even want to expand here? Like, you're not even close to saturated. Uh, you have, like, no units t to defend more ground. I don't think Terran has a third base coming for, like, eight minutes. Uh, I mean, the Terran base, we do have a starport coming and an armory? Did I see an armory? Did I imagine? No, we, we do have an armory. So trying to get something going, like some semblance of a normal game. We're going to try to build up these upgrades here. Uh, trying to put some vultures out on the map to get vision of where Protoss is going. Try to block potential expansions, but unfortunately for Red, for red Axis, there is this uh, third base down here in, in the bottom left. Finally taking their natural gas, just trying to get back into this game. There we do have the Stargate started. For Mix Smush somewhere, I promise. Oh, we got two Stargates, so forget about Arbiters. This, this is going to be Carriers here. It's, they, I, I like how they're all the way on the, on the other side of the map from the Terrans, so there's just no way Terrans going to, like, find or be able to stop them. These goons are trying to run again, and Terran is so scared of being killed that Red Axis pulls all of their workers here from the natural. And we also have this fourth base coming online at the mineral only. I think it's like, if Terran sees this and doesn't realize that this is really the, the fourth base, they might be like, 
Okay, you know, it's like two base Terran to two base Protoss. It's fine, but no. No, we had the air weapons in the, in the, in the, in the production. I think we're going to like, oh, we have so many Stargates, like... Yeah, I don't... I, there's no way you can deal with carriers. Like, even if you just, like, only make Elias out of these two factories, it's not going to happen. Yeah, we actually do have a drop for Terran. And as much as I hate Vulture drops, I don't think they can possibly make up the damage from the earlier drops. We'll have to see here. Especially, like, with the angle, like... It's going to be harder to drop in the main here. But the Protoss army is moving out, trying to con control the map. What is coming out of these gateways? We only have Zealots, not even the speed upgrade yet. So these Vultures might have free reign here to do a, a, a lot of damage. Oh, this one. That, 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 that Vulture could have been picked up, but it was just abandoned. This one, has, this one Vulture has five kills. These two are not actually sent to the mineral light yet. There we go. Right, Terran trying to get... Actually, somehow! Are we seriously going to equalize the worker count? Oh my god. Like, at some point, it was 12 to 36 workers. And now it's 40 to 39. Terran is ahead. McSmush got a little bit overconfident. Didn't, you know, didn't pump out as many probes as they could have in that period of Terran weakness. Now, of course, the supply, look, the supply is still double for Protoss, but the fact that the worker count is now ahead for Terran is ridiculous. So Red Axe is trying to creep out here, leapfrog these tanks, take the third. Just absolutely not giving up in this game, by the way. I like that we do have observer speed. Try to help with these mines, I guess. But the real story here is these three Stargates. But we okay with speed being done. Oh god, these tanks are all on top of these mines. We don't even need these carriers. Maybe so many sick mine drags. It's taking heavy damage here, but uh, like honestly, Protoss can afford to throw away every single unit at this point in time. Really, there's even like a whole other control group over here. Terran does manage to pull that off, but at a high price. Like, I think I said this on on Monday. Like, when you're Terran, it's completely fine to just kill your your own mines. You absolutely do not want to have your tanks seized on your own mines. It's just asking to get mine dragged like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the vision. Like Red Exus has not even thought about the bottom left. Oh my god. Oh no, more mine drags. It might be enough to, to hold on here, but this is not what Terran needs right now. Every unit that's killed here is going to... You know, it, it must be uh, remade, and that's just more time. The factories aren't making Goliaths to deal with a three Stargate carrier. I wonder how many carriers Big Smush is going to pull up here. Like... It's traditional to go with like four. You're gonna go with six? Are you gonna go with nine? Or are you just gonna keep making carriers until Terran makes you I use them? I mean like even with this the small amounts of gateway units are getting absurd value here. Oh, this mind drag can kill a bunch of workers. Oh And that that worker count that was even just a minute ago is now 20 up for the Protoss as the Terran has to pull the boys to survive here. Like how many carriers are we going to get? Okay. Moving out with six, I was worried that Mixmush was just going to meme and like just pull up carriers, just max out on pure carrier while the Terran struggles to survive. have any more tech. We do have air weapons. I think that's, that's gonna be plus two by now, right? Yeah, we got plus two, just started. No second cyber core, so no armor, but there's literally, like, there's only turrets that can shoot 
these carriers, so who even needs armor? They're headed right for the cliff behind the natural minerals. Okay, they, they have been seen by now. Looks like Red Axis was thinking about it. <laughs> they get a third, and when you see six carriers after this game, that's when you tap out. And Mix Smush claims another Terran victim here in this group. I just love how Mixed Mush is like, well, if you can't beat him, join him. And just does every scumbag thing that a Protoss can do here. And we actually have another game from Mixed Mush coming, but it's not Protoss. It's actually Terran. So I, I want to see if Mixed Mush is this, like this evil when they're playing a Terran or they're like super standard when they play Terran. All right, returning this time is the blue Terran in the bottom left. It's McSmush, and this time, you know, when, when when they're not playing Protoss, when they're actually proud of their play, they have their, their clan tag, MG. And at the top left in the Teal Zerg, it's Sloth, a.k.a. Sloth Tube, a.k.a. Fake Sloth from some of the earlier games. Now, like I said, I, I'm curious to see how Mixmush plays their main race. Um, you know, because, of, like, I like I keep saying, like, they play Protoss to play evil, right? So, like, are they this obnoxious as Terran? Like, are, are we going to see, like, Two-Port Wraith or, like, 111 or, like, you know, like, drops, sniping, tech buildings and stuff like that? Or, like, are we going to see, like, super standard... Just like straight up macro Terran. Uh, it's not in this group, but Aggie is race picking this season. And like when Aggie plays Zerg in Terran, he does just just ridiculous stuff like like hatcheries in your base or like builds a factory outside your base and then flies it into your base. Um but then when he plays Protoss, he plays like super standard. And I'm like, oh, come on, dude. There's so much like Protoss stuff you can do. And in this matchup, above all others, I think Terran is so much nonsense they can get up to if they want to. So we'll have to see what Big Smush opts for. So far, looking very standard from both players. We have a 12 hatch here from Sloth. And, a, and it looks like we're setting up for a gasless expand from Big Smush. Smush going to get lucky with the first scout could mean that we'll see a 15cc uh, once he confirms that Zerg is not 9 pooling or something silly like that. And Zerg getting the gas very quickly here. Definitely going to be some kind of two hatch replay. As everyone will tell you, uh, two hatch Muna is by far the dominant strat right now for Zerg in this matchup. But there's plenty of room for other stuff and in the CPL, we tend to see uh, more frequently than elsewhere uh, alternative builds for Zerg. Like sometimes we see like just straight up like three hedge muta or like two and a half hedge muta, or we see it, we we used to see a lot more lurker builds um, because like lurkers are much easier to micro. Um, they can catch Terran off guard and. Critically, they're less hurt by lag. And in the CPL, we have players like all over the world. So it makes sense to have some kind of like lag proof build ready to go. I just did not catch the start time on this command center, but it looks like it was probably 18. Going up to two barracks. So no like factory builds, no a Goliath build or. 111 or something like that coming out of Mixed Bush going into a what looks like a very normal T Rex Academy. The SCV dying up here behind the production queue. That lair started right away. And gas actually just started. Uh, despite having a lot of gas for Sloth, they're just a bit behind.
even though we haven't seen a den yet. I'm sure we're about to see a spire go right down. There you go. So the spire started just as the lair finishes. Sloth, going to have to rely on being a micro now. We have a decent amount of marines all already and a medic coming presumably a second medic yeah and once these two medics come out Terran is going to be free to push out on the map Terran didn't even have to get a bunker because the SUV lived for so long there's not even that many links um, so if this force moves out like Sloth is definitely going to have to make some sunkets Stim is already like almost done being researched Scanners are on the way. The spire is just about done. You like I don't know, like twenty three seconds on it. Slot wants to keep those larvae open. Wants to make mutas. Doesn't want to have to like panic make the links here. But did Slot actually notice the the push go out? It's, seems like they must have. But Sunkas are not quite done yet. It's a critical window here where Big Smush could. Break this front door open, and the stem goes down. Focus firing on the sunken immediately. One finishes. They both finish here, and the Marines switch to shooting the links. Oh, look at how split the damage was on these sunks, right? Like, if one of them had been focus fired, it would have been so much better than just damaging both sunks. One does go down eventually, but not before the uh, bio ball has been whittled down. We did see a bunch of larvae spent on lings that Sloth would have preferred to be mutas, but I think outright killing that push has to be good for Zerg, right? Like, it's one thing if, like, Terran, like, dances around and, like, makes you build Sunkins, but then doesn't fight you, but I feel like if Terran commits and loses all their stuff, like, that that, that has to be good for Zerg, right? We didn't even lose drones. We lost, like, a few lings. The mutas are starting to pile up. We have the flyer attack upgrade, which is handy for mutas trying to trying to bust down turrets. You can help them pick off just a few more marines as Terran tries to cross the map. Would it be worth it for Terran to scan this overlord. I, I've i always wondered, like, even if you don't have scan, it would be worth a while to, like, float a building to kill this, like, like surround the cliff and then kill it. I don't know. And we have five mutas here going uh, across the map. Oh, th never mind. There's a third base. The Bioforce is headed for that. Does Sloth know that McSmoosh knows that there's a third here? I, I don't think so. There's no attempt at a defense here. The Zerg forces are just camping on on this high ground, waiting to ambush the Terran. But it's it's too late now. Like even if all those units come over, this base is doomed. Four drones are here, just trying to mine some gas. The hatchery is going to get picked off, and Sloth isn't even going to try to save it. Trying to find some opportunity for damage at the front. There's actually not that many Marines here. And the Mutas are starting to grow in number. These turrets are kind of undefended. I, I, I Again, I'm, I'm a Protoss player. I don't know. But yeah, I, I feel like there should be some kind of opportunity for Zerg to run in here. The Lings are not even going to fight in the natural. Trying to check me on top of the barracks. Oh, no. Flyer attack is like almost not, you know, just, just now finishes. But there's still a sufficient amount... I mean, this is very scary for Terran, and this force is just now leaving the third of Zerg, so Terran's going to scramble to get some kind of defense here. Turrets from the main mineral line dealing a bit of attritional damage to these mutas. SCVs actually thinning up the lings for the most part. I'm, I'm, I'm worried that the Zerg attack is going to peter out here when all these bio get here. Oh no, and the, the like, Micro Overlord is going to get caught in the middle of the map. Some indecision from Sloth Tube. Not sure what to focus fire on here. 
taking a lot of un unnecessary damage. Does manage to uh, delay the factory and set a lot of things on fire in the Terran base. Is that enough? What is the follow up? Looks like we just have Mita's. I don't see a den. I don't see a queen's nest. I don't see an attempt at retaking a third. Yeah, actually, you know, I mean, most of the turrets are dead. We don't see Terran really scrambling to rebuild turrets. Okay, right as I say that, of course, we have these two turrets being replaced by the barracks. We're in a much... Oh, we're at over 12 uh, mutas here. This is enough to just straight up fight here. Perhaps taking a lot of damage on on both sides. Oh, the turrets finish. I think maybe we'll only focus on them before they finish. Now with turrets even from the natural helping in this fight, the mutas are going to get cleaned up. A single muta lives with 4 HP. I think this might be the end of Zerg's dreams in this game. Because there's nothing else coming from Zerg. Just six pairs of links. No tech. No more mutas. No more bases. Just overlords scrambling to get over some kind of cover. It won't take long for McSmush to mech her out another Bioforce. Getting this starport. Probably going to get two ports for vessels. And we even have the factory, as discussed, coming to spot this Overlord hanging out over the base. The one Muta and a bunch of leagues are, are coming back, but absolutely no damage done. And we got the G from Sloth. McSmush claims one more win. I think the real tipping point of, of that game was finding the third base. And Zerg not being aware that uh, that it was vulnerable. Somehow, I I guess when I split these games in half, I put all of Mixmush's games in here because we got another game of Mixmush, and this time it's going to be versus the Protoss player Primal. So we're going to see Mixmush on the other end of TVP. Are they going to get karma for what they've done to their Terran brethren, or will they dominate again? Here we go. In the bottom left of Polypoid, it's the Red Protoss Primal. And the top left, in the banana yellow Terran, it's Big Smush. I know we saw Primal play on Monday. I don't remember what they did. <laughs> I don't think we saw them in this matchup. Maybe we there's a, no there's more Terran players so we, I think we we must have seen them I just don't recall what they did we're not getting gas already right okay no, no. okay 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 so a primal uh, getting a gateway very close to their nexus not going to be a, a, any kind of forward gate not scouting on pylon I'm trying to flip some coins and get the quick gas deal. Meanwhile, Mixmush. Once again, playing very standard as Terran. Now, in these positions, if the game goes long, uh, Terran is going to have this mineral only third here. She's going to like be very easy to defend this front from from the Protoss the high ground, which is nice for Terran. The uh, the base setup for Protoss is not going to be too bad either. Just, like, Protoss will have to definitely keep eyes on the, on the Terran army. You don't want Terran to set up, like, here in a strong position or something. Like, you want to fight them as soon as they leave the high ground, I think. 
normal continuing with a very standard build, scouting after core in the uh, traditional manner. McSplush setting up some very solid anti-zealot SimCity here. Oh, even like even blocking off this path here above the refinery. Smart little choice here. The scouting probe does get in. It's not going to say anything too wild. Uh, only one SCV mining gas, so we're unlikely to see a tech or like two fact build. Now, I'm always curious to see what kind of of Nexus timing we see from the Brodos. We're down to one guy in in gas. I know that like I will cut one guy out of, out of gas to leave two in it once I start range. Get your Nexus like a few seconds earlier. Uh, I don't know if there's like math on putting one in. But, but it does look like we're going to see a 21 Nexus. There you go. And the goon is going to block the ramp here, but if Big Smush knows this matchup, they'll they'll know what's going on from seeing this Nexus at at, at this timing. You know, now that I'm looking at this, I'm pretty sure this is exactly what Primal did on Monday. I remember noticing that. Ooh, what is what are these Marines doing? I don't know about this one. Uh, these Marines are not going to get anything done. There's going to be like two goons with range. Okay, this is not... Oh, I think maybe, like, McSmush completely misread this. Like, this is what you would do if it was, like, a Nexus first. I've never seen someone pull this many boys against a, a 21 Nex. Like, it's not even two fag. It's, it's like, one vulture. Uh, so, I don't even know what's going on here, to be honest. But, like, two goons is pretty good here. We're, we're gonna be at four goons. Like, I'm pretty sure Terran on paper shouldn't get away with this. But Primal's not really contesting it. Uh, are we just going to see the Nexus finish? Like, are we waiting for two more goons? That that could be it. But the Nexus... Oh, it, it gets cancelled. Alright, I'm not really sure what the hell's going on in this game anymore. Like, is this a thing a Terran can do? Is Terran al allowed to do this? Is this going to be my nightmare now? Like, I'm just trying to do a normal game and Terran can just build a bunker in my natural? without doing anything crazy. Now, Terran didn't get away with this for free. I mean, you have seven SCVs not mining for like a minute or two. It's a decent amount of money. Now these goons are coming down here to bust out. With, with range being done, this bunker can be shot safely and mines were not finished. Well, mines are up, about to be finished. The Protoss will easily take this natural. I think Protoss is going to be okay if they take their their natural and their third, like right now. Uh, these mines are annoying. If Primal feels like Bisu, he, he, they could clear them out. Makes motion continue to be annoying. I still can't believe that worked. Like, that's not how this game is supposed to go. The natural from Terran, a bit late too. Yeah, I think Protoss definitely wants to get this third up ASAP. Marines. The luckiest, bravest Marines ever in StarCraft are getting to go back home. They're going to live in a bunker in their own base for once. Alright, so what is McSmush doing at home? Just two factories. Starting to get up a, a ring of turrets. Doesn't want to get any karmic punishment for that DT drop earlier. Actually getting quite a few turrets. Like, especially like so far out here. Like when, okay, when, when I see turrets like this, I think it's going to be like some kind of bio rush. Uh, but it's not. Right, because like I don't like why are you trying so hard to build 
this min turret without scouting anything. But we, are, we already have two factories. We don't have any more barracks coming down. What are these Marines like? How are these Marines still alive? They're going to die like in two seconds here. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know why they're out here. Third base is cleared out. Primal definitely wants to get that started. Just want to get economically choked out here by the Protoss. Wait, so, what by the Terran? We actually do have four gateways and some zealots and a shuttle. And I can't click on this building. Okay, it's a pylon. That it was a support bay or something. This observer is getting across the map. Don't want to lose this to this ring of turrets, which is getting further and further out here. Like, what is going on? Uh, we might have an attempt at a bust here for a Protoss, but there's really not a lot of units. It's tanks, though, from Mixmush, very far forward. And dangerously close to mines. Alright, Primal is going for it. Doesn't want to play a macro game anymore. It's too upset of it. About the bunker rush. But now we're just moving around? Like, you don't need to put Zealots in a shuttle to take your own third base, my guy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand what's going on here. I'm very confused by both players. Like, even though, like, they've had plans that have worked out, I don't know why they're doing this. All right, Primal, thinking about it again. Headed up to the yet unclaimed mineral only third base. Now the tanks immediately like, nope, nope, don't want anything to do with that. Retreating back behind the wall of turrets. Shuttle is not gonna find any opportunity to bust in here. Wait, is there not siege mode? Oh, okay, okay, good. Good coming in here. Extremely clumped up, taking a, a bunch of damage. The bunker falls, though. Some friendly fire going down on all these tanks. Zealots drop right on, on top of them, but I think the goons are going to get cleaned up. No! They don't. There's only one tank left on the high ground. SCBs are dying left and right. Zealots deciding to get out of here rather than charge up that ramp. Alright, so Protoss should feel pretty good about that attack. I'm just worried about this third base being pretty late, late. like, th this is when you want to get your fourth base. We got Alpha for Toast memeing as hard as he can in the chat. This kind of energy I, I like. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Primal wants to take this fourth base, but the Vulture is hanging out ready to kill that, po that probe as soon as possible. Oh my god. Miserable. More turrets are, are coming up. Right now, Big Smush is like, I built 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 turrets, and I still got hurt by a shuttle. Like, this is why Big Smush picks Protoss against Terran to, to act out all this trauma. That Vulture goes down after killing that probe. A replacement will have to be sent. The third base does come online, but like at e 11 minutes, that's not when you want to be getting your third right now. As Protoss. Well, mix push up to four factories. Starport up here. An armory almost done with plus one attack. Terran army is going to be very scary. We have goons moving in here, picking off another vulnerable tank. Tank count has been heavily dwindled here by these attacks from Protoss. But Protoss doesn't really have the economy to like outstrip Terran yet. Fourth base is coming up. Do we have any tech of the Protoss? I still can't. Oh, we do have the Citadel coming. It's gonna be a very late Arbiter tech. Arbiters are 
always good, but it's like five minutes between building your citadel and getting a, an arbiter. Uh, so, you know, Terran has a big window here to attack and like, you know, uh, it looks like Big Smush, despite taking some heavy losses earlier, is is starting to claim their third base. Ooh, a second armory, so this push, when it does come, is going to be really strong here. I think we... So we started armor on the first armory? Like, it... It must have started, like, five seconds before the science facility finished. I just feel like you should have gotten the a plus two attack four plus one armor. Alright. The armor attack is slowly progressing here. Primal has managed to keep a supply lead. Always important. Staying on top of the Terran movements. Actually, I mean, there's no Terran third command center. There's only five factories. Like, it's not... It, Terran's kind of in a, in a weird spot right now. Uh, this is basically the, like, Ar Artosis Terran style, where you just expand slowly for no reason. Oh, here we go, look! Okay, Mixmush. They know. They know. They kill mines that are too close to your own tech. I'm, I, I'm a little skeptical of this one, but, you know, definitely do not want to have Zealot bombs kill your whole tank line. No, oh, the Templar Archives was not started with the Stargate, so the Architect's a bit more delayed. Oh, trying to get something done here with this shuttle. Does get a tank and a Vulture. Some good value. We're just, like, slowly adding one, one factory at a, at a time. Uh, I'm, I'm just confused because, like, if you, there there are like two base push builds, um, but like you would have had like six factories a a while ago. Oh, here we go. Here's the third command center, and the fourth command center. Okay, Terran is double expanding. Finally found the C key on their keyboard. But this is you know starting to give the delayed Arbiter Tech time to get back. In in this game. Primal trying to get a fourth, a, uh, a fifth base here. Oh, this is not a Vulture. This is just a Marine. Not nearly as good at killing probes. Let me tell you. That one does go down. This fifth base in the corner here is going to go up. Primal probably wants to be up on six bases against four base Terran. But it's going to take a while for these bases to come online. Terran upgrades, I think, almost done with plus two attack. And one armor already. Oh god, the vultures are here. Pile on a wall will have to be reinforced. They're gonna mine up this entire base. Primal trying to send these goons, but this, this pylon is gonna fall before they get here. I think there's a big mine hit about to happen. Nope. Gets killed. But the, but the vultures are in the base. Super ob obnoxious for Protoss. All right, they do have cleaned up the a the actual Nexus. It's not going to be stopped. Looks like Primal is gearing up for another attempt at an attack here. There, this this army is very tank heavy. Like there's there's a a ton of tanks, but not that many supporting units. McSmush just lost a good amount of, of vultures trying to stop that fourth. Uh, and when it's just tanks and mines that are frighteningly close, uh, Protoss can always like steal a game that way.
probes somehow. Like, dude, I I can never transfer probes like this so brazenly with no a protection. Like, there'd be vultures killing them as soon as they left my by their base. They do, but they do make it back in here though. We got cannons or primal protecting that ramp. The Arbiter is finally coming. Do we finally have an Arbiter? Yeah, okay, we do have one Arbiter. The second one is done, is almost done. Uh, we're doing the, the classic Protoss move of, oops, I, my attack was late, I'll make two Stargates to, to try to catch up here. Are we going for recall first? It surely Stasis is done already. Like. More turrets are being added now that Arbiters are up, but like, this is actually not enough to stop a recall, right? Like, an Arbiter could fly right across here, only get hit by two turrets, and then have this huge pocket of empty space in the in the mind out main. Oh, more vultures being picked off. Oh my god, what the hell? Is Protoss gonna get this bait? What is going on? What is... Okay, turrets and pylons should never be this close, alright? There's there's some rules that we have to maintain. I know that we are, you know, we're experiencing lots of changes in society, but turrets and pylons do not mix. And these SCVs are here to, to fix that. More vultures being killed. Like I, I've I've said this in like so many CPL casts. Like vultures are free, but you don't want to lose them for nothing. It's like factory time that is going away. You know, you, they, you uh, and you need them to body block to keep zealots off of your tanks. What is going on here? We have like. Workers fighting, trying to bait the SCVs into the cannons. This is the real fight. Who cares about what's going on here? This is the real struggle. Okay. Alright. Big Smush is basically maxed out. Trying to move out here. Ooh, does have these tanks really far forward. A huge stasis on a couple of tanks. And the vessel, the shuttle from earlier is back, but is <laughs> there using the stasis right? This part has tried to drop all these mines. All these mines can be discussed. What is going? I don't know what's going on with those mines, but it's still pretty good for Protoss. Oh my God! Absolutely a massacre in favor of Primal here. Oh, well, we don't run out these. It looks like you're zealous. Like at at this point, like when all these units on stasis, they might win this fight. At least on paper, unless we have like a bunch of reinforcing zealots. But there's actually not much macro going on here. And yeah, like, these units are all going to be rescued here. Not too many reinforcements on the way here for Protoss. Oh, yeah, these zealots, they would have really helped. Meanwhile, back at the real part of this game, we have a the standard 21-minute 5th base cannon rush. Now, is a cannon so weak that one SCV can kill it before it finishes? I like how Primal sees this, and the first response is to just build cannon number two rather than kill the SCV. <laughs> Alright, so Terran McSmush is continuing to threaten the Protoss base here. Uh, there was an Arbiter hanging out. I don't know where it went. We do have Templar mixed in. I saw Storm in the production queue earlier. These tanks getting a, a lot of damage done on these goons as they, as they try to clear up mines. Down the Zealots are coming in here, getting on top of the tanks, and I think McSmush should have waited to regroup just a bit more. Protoss cleans up the, that army with 
minimal losses here. Even gets the vessel. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cannon rush got the command center. Makes much settling for this base over here. Oh, meanwhile, Primal got this whole base that I didn't even see. We have a ton of gateways here. Okay, I'm pretty sure, like, these three gateways, you can't make a, a goon set of them because they, they'll just be trapped. Like, they won't even be be able to spawn. Uh, so maybe, like, you know, if there's, like, one hex to the left, that, that'd be a pretty good. Center is completely exposed. Like, if Primal smells it, it'll die. I like how, like, Primal did all this to get the space and still hasn't actually built the Nexus. Like, this is just to hurt the Terran. Oh, the base is found. The SCP building that command center is killed, but Primal chooses to retreat rather than fight there. What happened to that Ar Arbiter that was out front of Primal's base earlier? Like, these are two new Arbiters. Uh, there was one from before. I don't know where. The one that got all those six aces is off. Now the tanks are here to kill these cannons, finally. Top right will be free of Protoss oppression. Oh, but Primal taking this opportunity to split the Terran army in half here, and let me tell you, this is not Warcraft 3. You can't build this building faster with all these workers. All the Zelts go down here, though. Uh, it's a good number of Goliaths almost pick up this Arbiter. Oh, they, they do kill the Arbiter. We have a stasis on one tank. There's three more here. So these goons, I mean, they're going to kill these tanks, but taking a lot of damage to do so. But looking at the Supply, I'm sure Bruss is fine with this trade. We have 15 zealots in production. And this tank is not going to be rescued here. So, do you guys think, like, when a unit is in stasis, does it not know? Like, is it like time gets paused and then, you know, like, from its perspective, it just instantly goes from the beginning of the stasis to the end? Or, like, is it just, like, frozen, like, watching stuff happen? Because it, the, the, the lore makes it sound like they're, like, frozen in, in time. But units that are in stasis, they do gain mana while they're in there. So, like, time it is passing. So, like, that one tank is just like, well, I'm doomed. Primal, trying to take every single base on this map. This one gets shut down, but th now, these, with these pylons, the vultures are unable to leave. Goons can come in there and kill them whenever they want. Look, looks like they're waiting for an observer. Oh, this shuttle has three Templar in it. Oh, actually, those mines doing big damage on that group of goons here. The vultures are going to win this fight and even kill a Templar? Like, what is going on here? Well, that's why I'm asked about lockdown units. I mean, lockdown isn't like time magic. It's like short circuiting the electronics. So, like, they're definitely like, just, you know, like trying to like turn it off and on again during the during the spell. They're not like frozen. So finally, after. So many cannons after tanks trying to kill the space. There is finally a nexus going up in the in the top right. Nick so much is micring his heart out, trying to get as much value as he can out of these vultures. But well, you know, there's there's no but. They're just gonna kill a bunch of probes here. That's annoying. Primal's army is over here on the map. There's a lot of ground for Protoss to defend right now. 
there are there are two bases right now in this whole map that are not being mined or find out uh, so meanwhile mixmush has a, built up another it basically maxed out army actually and for a second here supplies are in favor of, of Terran although Pardis can easily build that remaining supply really quickly here oh picking off a lot of goons the Arbiter being driven off oh, what are the upgrades by the way oh so we have a pretty decent 3-2 upgrade for Protoss. Terran is at 3-2 as well, and Terran scales much better with upgrades. This is a very scary very scary army here for Terran. All the Arbiters trying to stay this one vulture! We do have a big storm on, on the tanks. Those Arbiters get killed off. The, the, this one Vulture is not quite going to cut it now. And this force from McSmush. Oh my god, the storms are being stacked. But who cares if it doesn't work? Because all the tanks are dead anyway. Huge fight for Prime. I was really scared for a moment there. But if we didn't have those storms, like I, I think Terran might have won that fight. The Arbiters got completely shut down. Oh, what are these goons hanging out? They're taking a break on the high ground, and with this reinforcing wave of zealots, their their many tanks will be cleaned up here. Uh, let's see what's going on for the mining. Like this base is almost done for Terran, and this base is basically done for Terran. Terran is about to run out of money, and I can tell you, Protoss is in no danger of doing that any anytime soon. Templar and came to the wrong neighborhood. Uh, I I see your question, I'm Ian, and I can tell you that you cannot, like, you can't, like, punish units by dropping them off the map or, like, dunking them in the ocean. That'd be a good way to, like, you know, like, if you're a Marine, like, it makes a mistake, like, uh, Let's a zealot kill some SCVs. You can like uh, send, send them to sleep with the fishes or something. That's what we have to hope for in StarCraft 3. It's not not boats, but like putting units in the water and watching them drown. Like it's a roller coaster tycoon. Uh, now we do have tanks going up on this base. Not too much here to defend right away. These Zel oh, never mind. These Zelts are going to absolutely sandwich these tanks to death here. Mixmush cannot afford losses like this. At this point, every single Terran unit is going to be precious here. This is the last mining. It's like 200 more minerals. Oh, never mind. Okay, this command center is up. Completely undefended as of now, but Primal is not worried about that. Primal is, I think, looking to end the, this game here. Small remaining army of uh, explosions out here in the open. This, there's so many goons here. They're going to take so much damage from these tanks. Trying to spread out in a big arc, actually, without enough zealots here. Somehow, somehow Primal found a way to lose this fight. Just all these goons getting splashed so hard. The observer does see the base, but with the loss of this army, it's going to be a little bit before Primal can stop it. But again, Mixmush is very low on money. So I guess when we have like 30 units in production, maybe it won't take that long for Protoss to come back. Wonder if any of these gateways are stuck, like that unit can't come out. It looks like no. Oh, looks like we finally had a recall. All these turrets were not enough for Terran to stop the recall. And there's just there's no units to come back. I I clean this up. It's 
not even like a particularly big recall, it's just Terran is completely exhausted at, at this point. Protoss is a hunter supply up and Big Smush taps out. Finally drops the game in this group. To Primal. Alright, I think there's one more game. Yes, there's one more game. It's going to be a, another PVT. Primal against Red Axis. And now I'm confused because I thought we saw the other PBT. I, I I don't know what's going on, guys. I can't keep track of things. I just look at replays. Oh, there we go. In the top right of Polypoid, once again as the red Protoss, it's Primal. And in the top left, in the I think just the uh, like the the grayish blue or the bluish gray Terran, it's Stimpak, aka Red Axis. Now we've seen Primal not to go for the gas steel and forward gate kind of style. It's it's a big gamble on Plywood anyway, uh, so I don't expect to see it here. Let's see what what Terran will do here. I'm over toast. Why are you posting magic cards in my chat? Like recall, I get, but like Primal Vigor, like that's not even close to anything. Anyway, in this game. have, again, a very standard game. Oh, Primal. Uh, okay. Somewhere on the internet is like somebody made like suggested StarCraft cards for Magic. Uh, all, all I remember is that people in the thread were arguing over what color, like, each faction should be. It was like, Terran was white-red, a Protoss was, I think, like, blue-red, and Zerg was black-green. The problem, though, is that, like, they're, they're all going to seem red because they all have, like, damage spells and, like, they're all, like, military, right? So they're all gonna, they're all gonna seem, like, red. So I don't know if you want to, like, factor out the red as the common uh, denominator. This time, Terran's gonna get that quick scout, but basically nothing is going on in the base of Primal. Like, this is one of those matchups where, like, 90% of the time, you're not gonna see anything with this scout. You're just gonna see a, like, a standard game. Like, what really what, what you're looking for is the time of when that Nexus goes down. I guess you are worried about, like, Nexus first. Uh, you really have to punish that as soon as possible. And I I just remembered that like we saw in that previous game, we saw um Explosh Bunker Rush, a completely normal expansion from Protoss. I completely forgot about that. Uh I don't imagine we'll see that again. Probe is going to get here, but there's going to be two Marines. I'm not going to be able to go, to go up that ramp. Uh, it doesn't doesn't look it doesn't look like any two factory or tech build from Red Axis, and I think it's actually going to be like a siege expand, maybe like if you're getting the command center in the main. No, it is going to be vultures with mines, which I think is more trendy nowadays. I don't know if Red Axis has seen the Nexus yet. 
I think the goon might have blocked it off here. Ha! This probe. That vulture just ignored that probe. Now he's like trying to decide if he wants to go back or not. There we go. Probe is cleaned up. Okay, now I'm starting to get worried. Like, are we going to see this again? Are we going to see a bunker rush with vultures again? Uh, because going, you know, getting more than four marines is very unusual. Like, it pretty much always means FG or two fact, like some kind of one base push. Uh, but I don't think that's what Red Axis is doing. Like, we got the vulture and then the tank. Uh, if you do an FD, it's normal to get tanks and then rally vultures after that. This could be some kind of variation on that, though. Vulture not trying to get too much damage done, just mining the third base of the, of the Protoss. Trying to block any kind of super greedy egg expansion there. Doesn't look like any kind of push is coming out of Terran here. Just gonna keep this tank on the high ground in these five marines here. I'm a bit worried that, 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 that there's no bunker. Like this is like this is a weird combination of like too aggressive and not safe enough. I don't know if it's just like what they scouted in the Protoss base, but I feel like they don't need a bunker, I don't know. Oh, we do have Primal like fanning out goons here in the main base. Worried about a drop for some reason, maybe given how long it took for that command center to land. They expected that it was a drop. But there's not even a starport. So those goons are not going to get anything done there in the main Probably even like sending a, a probe out, maybe to put a, a a pylon here on the drop pad. Like Primal, I think is very confused about what Terran is doing here. Not sure what to do. Okay, well, Red Axe is just playing a very standard game after this slightly weird opening. These turrets, uh, you know, not quite as turret happy as uh, Mixed Mush. Got them further back in the base and not nearly as many. These are more like Reaver turrets, I think. Observer is done. Actually, I think this is the first Observer? No, no, no. I'll barely manage this to avoid dying to the turret with the first observer, you absolutely don't want that to happen. Even if you can't get in the main and look at the factories, like you need, like you can still, you know, check out the front, see how how many units are there. Uh, it is going to hurt Protoss not to hit the observer in the base. This is something that you, like you really have to focus on in, in your build. Is you want an observer in the Terran main around like seven minutes. Uh, that's when Terran makes a lot of choices about their build, and if they do something that you have to react to, that's that'll be your your window to see it. Looks like those mines were cleared out at the third base. Protoss is getting that up. Last game, we saw Primal take a long time to get bases three and four, but then absolutely explode on, on the map later. I think it might be headed for something similar. The Citadel started much faster this game. Uh, that it is definitely going to help get these Arbiters out quicker. Ooh, going up to five factories and not like trickling up to it like McSmush did, suddenly exploding out here with three more. I, oh, we have two upgrades going. It seems like a five pack one, or uh, a five pack two base plus one plus one push. This is going to be pretty deadly here. And without that Arbiter in the main, Protoss might not even know this is coming. 
You have a lot of goons here on drop defense. Four, four goons is, is not a small amount here. They can definitely tip a fight in favor of Protoss. And what is going to be here to help in that fight? We do have... We are going to have a Zealots and a Shuttle. We saw Primal make very good use of that in the in the previous game. Okay, can I talk... So, PVT is easily my worst matchup, which makes me feel dumb, right? Because it's supposed to be super easy for Protoss. And, like, I have complete vision of the game right now, and I don't know what Terran is doing. <laughs> like, I'm still not sure. Uh, because, like... I know I just talked about five factories, but like, it's it is a a bit late here. Like, it's like you could have more than five factories, right? As Terran, but like, are we getting a science facility right now? Like, are we gonna get continue to just get plus two on two bases? Is is that a thing? Like, uh, like where's the third command center? Like, you could have a third command center. By this time and still be getting your your two two right like i don't know i don't know what's going on here like i i i, I never know when terran is going to move out when i'm playing the game like you know I, I, okay I'm, I'm done ranting it seems like red axis is, is ready to move out i think it was triggered by the end of the upgrades and Primal is going to see this. Gonna see all of these on siege tanks. Is trying to set up some squads of units ready to flank the Terran. Does have a lot of gateways. This is what you want against two base pushes. You want like half again as many bases, uh, as many factories. Now, Primal running in here. The shuttle only a few zealots in there. The Vulture is doing a great job trying to clear out these drops. The goons have to retreat as all of the Zealots go down, and the, most of the Terran army is still here. But this high ground is going to be very valuable for Protoss. What is the re so? Oh, okay. So we have storm coming and three Templar, but I don't think I I don't think we're gonna have time to get the energy on this Templar. Like I feel like this fight is gonna be decided before then. So I'm a little questioning of that choice. But the shuttle is back. Huge mind drag, and the zealots are all over these tanks. And while I'm ranting about high Templar, Primal just cleans up this fight, and this is really rough for Terran. Like, that was the entire game plan of Terran. Ruined there. Actually, oh no. Wait. Oh, okay, so plus two armor. Just I thought, like, the the upgrades, like, just finished right after all those units died. Uh, so, this is looking pretty good for Protoss, and somehow this random SCV catches this probe trying to build the fourth base, but we've seen it. Primal will cannon rush in this scenario, right? Like, Primal will just build cannons to deal with this SCV. I think this was, like, the first scouting SCV, and, the, that, and that's why it's so bruised. The vultures are on the way. This probe has to wall off the ramp, but it's not even going to try. It's just going to sit there and think about its life, and they accept its fate. But, like, you don't even need four bases when Terran's on two bases this long. And we do finally have this command center... Uh, on the way here. This observer might catch it, but that might let Primal fight Red Axis for the high ground, but... Oh, man. It's so annoying. Mines all over these bases in the bottom right. Science vessel helping to clear out the observer. Do we see any... Okay, there we go. We do have a fourth base here on the high ground. For Primal, you don't want it to be three base against three base. It's not ideal. The main is 
or two thirds mined out. And the natural for Terran is actually a, a two thirds mined out. The so Terran is going to be down to one base mining pretty soon. Still, Protoss does not want to get stuck on a low base camp for too long. We do have the Ar Arbiter Tag, much delayed from that push earlier. I think this is something that Primal could definitely focus on. Um, getting those Ar Arbiters out of there. Because like, there totally could have been an Arbiter for that first push, because it was so delayed waiting for the upgrades. Alright, Primal trying to go in again, but this is a very entrenched position here. The, the Vultures are here to block on the tanks. Oh my god, a huge storm. Another big storm. All these clumped up tanks. Primal getting a lot of damage done, but not too many zealots left. Oh my god, the storms on, on everything. In the end, turn will hold this off, but like, you can look at the supply. There's like 28 army supply here for Terran. Like, there's, it's basically just workers on the map for Terran. And this is going to let a Protoss get a fifth base. I, I, I wasn't looking at the minimap too closely. I wonder if this probe, like, tried to build here and couldn't. And then tried to build here and couldn't. And it finally made it to this base. I uh, saw, or I heard Terrence scan something. I'm not sure what they saw. No, oh, the, these vultures giving their lives to get one Templar. I don't. I mean, like Templar are pretty good to pick off, but when Terrence is so low on supply, I don't think you you can afford to do that. Vultures running around trying to get something done on the map, but. Once Primal gets a base, it's pretty much locked down. I wish the supply would go over 200 in like red numbers or something just to tell you how many more pylons you have than you need to get 200 supply. Observers and probes looking. All right, well, okay, the, the probe is not looking for a base. Probe's gonna make another base. And just like last game, Primal. Once we get to this part of the game, Primal just wants to put a nexus on every single base. This fourth base for Terran is starting to shape up here. The one turret is gonna, you know, spread its spores and make a whole bunch of companion turrets. Primal, even despite having the Arbiter Tech, is still continuing to lean into shuttles. Uh, Storm, of course, very good if you can get it off on clumped groups of Terran units. Shuttle is very useful for Zealot bombing, but you don't. You normally see them kind of fall off and try to focus all their micro on the Arbiter to get six stasis and stuff. Uh, at least, like, to the shuttles. I think you probably still have Templar. And actually, while I've been talking, like, Simpac is backward up like crazy. Like, Simpac was down to, like, 60 supply, like, two minutes ago. They're pumping units out of these factories, and, like, Primal isn't really trying to fight right now. So we could see another maxed out army from Red Exus here. Oh, but this command center does get shut down. That turret does not get much done. Recall is in the production queue. Stasis was finished earlier. That looks just bases everywhere. So many pylons all the place trying to build the next set of gateways here on opposite sides of the map. Very hard for Terran to shut down Protoss with one big push. The 
fourth command center being built in the Terran main is almost done. Upgrades are probably pretty big. We have 2-2 two, two, and we have 3-3 three, three coming for Terran. But Protoss, just like last game Primal, it does have pretty decent upgrades with 3-2 on the way. It's nice to see. Uh, a, a lot of Protoss players, uh, myself included, tend to forget about upgrades in in this matchup. Oh. The classic killing a pylon with your cannons so that the units that you've rallied from, from, from these gateways can get out of the base. Alright, and Red Nexus has reached a very high supply count. Three attack upgrade, or the the third attack upgrade is almost done. So, Terran is always deadly in these positions. And actually, Protoss, and Protoss is a lot of expert probes, so the army supply is not that big. And a, a decent stasis here on these tanks, but they're kind of in the front, so they're actually blocking the, the ones in the back, and Primal is going to have to retreat. And to my point earlier, like, these tanks were stasis while they were sieging, and the animation continued, right? Like, once they were stasis. So I think they literally are, like, in a little blue bubble, just watching the world outside. But, uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> this push from Terran is not going to slow down. It's, I think it, they are going to head to the bottom left to try to shut down this space of the Protoss. Ooh, but this flank from Protoss gets really close. We could see another big stasis. Ooh. Three tanks. Not too bad. The Zealots do want to get right on top of these tanks here. But on the top flank is the big deal here. All those units are cleaned up. Another big storm. All tanks get cleaned up here. This push is going to get killed off. And Primal is just rebuilding these units as soon as they are killed. 14 Zealots and 7 Goons in production continuing to be maxed out. There's nothing to defend this fourth base for the Terran. And Terran's like, going to have to leave here. Oh, you base, I mean. Uh, the small amount of units from Terran is not going to be able to save the day here. Does EMP this Arbiter, but this, it probably had like 35 energy, so not, not a whole lot. Actually, you know what? I lied. These units are completely fine to defend this. Uh, not before losing a lot of SCPs, though. It's certainly not uh, not in the fortress to kill this base. And uh, another main is being taken over by Primal here. Like, it would take so long for Red Exodus to actually win this game. Like, even if they won every fight from now on, like there's just so much Protoss here on on the map to kill. There's actually no a Goliath, like at all. Okay, there's one in production that might kill this. We have a recall to this basically dead base, and that is enough for Red Axis to tap out. And Primal is going to take the last game of this group. And that is going to be the end of Group 33, and as far as I know, the end of CPL Season 8 preseason casting. Uh, next week, we're going to get started with games from the actual season, which is going to be pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, so I'm... I can't wait for that. I'm going to find someone to raid, and we'll close out the stream. Thanks for watching, everybody. All right, who's actually on? Oh, hey, my opponent this week is streaming. I didn't know they did that. So we're going to raid them so I can see what they're doing. Looks like they're casting BSL. All right, thanks for watching, everybody.
until Naka, I said hello.